in January 2005, we did a cover story which was again very provocative, which was insurance is not an investment. And, till the, and you know, it might look very normal to you nowadays, but in 2005, it was quite a, uh, it created quite a ruckus in a sense that uh, everybody thought that they buy insurance and it is perceived to be an investment. There's a little bit of insurance. And uh, that was quite an eye opener for many people. Everybody went into very objective evaluation of insurance since then. Till that point, term insurance never used to be bought as a separate standalone insurance. You know, term insurance used to be very expensive. It was not being sold, so it was not being bought. So insurance is not an investment caused a big ripple in the process. You know, we, we explained that what is the pricing? What is the cost? What is the commission paid on this and how what kind of return these unit linked insurance policies provide and the endowment policies, uh, how low yielding they are. And that created a great awareness about this. And I think it led to a great transformation, transformation on two front. One is that IRDA, the insurance company's regulator, it went about, you know, changing the rules for ULIP, that there must be an essential component for, of insurance in every ULIP. Not only that, insurance companies used to forfeit the money that you have uh, put as premium if you discontinued within five years. So that, th that all the rules changed, it became a little investor friendly. It also mandated the essential component of insurance in every unit. So this was one change. The other change was it really caused a great awareness about term insurance, at least for the self-guided investor, for the thoughtful investor, the kind of investor who, whom we were, you know, looking to, uh, you know, we were tra targeting for them. We were actually empowering those self-guided investors. They became aware of it. They started asking, and today we find that. Uh, in, you know, we have made a modest beginning. Still endowment policies and ULIPs are sold in large quantities. But now ULIP, uh, you know, term insurance is also sold. I'm a great believer in the power of awareness. I'm a great believer in the power of truth. So I'm hopeful that in the next 10, 20 years, in, we will, you know, the greater awareness, greater understanding uh, and democratization of information. Our investors will become more uh, probing, they will ask questions and that will lead to the eventual, you know, the decline and the demise of ULIPS and endowment policy. And insurance companies will have to get back to basics, which is providing term insurance, providing life insurance by way of that and providing annuity.